One of Singapore's oldest homegrown brands, Yu Yan Sung, will be acquired by Japan's Roto Pharmaceutical and Mitsui and Company. The deal for the 144-year-old traditional Chinese medicine firm is valued at 800 million Singapore dollars. Yu Yan Sung operates over 170 retail outlets and 30 TCM clinics, mainly in Singapore, Hong Kong and Malaysia. The Japanese buyers have set up a special purpose entity in Singapore to acquire 86% stake of Yu Yan Sung. The deal is expected to be completed around the 30th of June, eventually with full acquisition of the remaining shares of the company. Roto is expected to hold about 60% of the shares and Mitsui 30%. The founding mem- family of Yu Yan Sung will keep the remaining 10%. Because uh, Singapore, of course, is kind of home base for us. So we will continue to grow in Singapore to cater to our Singaporean customers. But hopefully that we will continue to open up new territories over time. And uh, so those will be uh, new fields, if you like. you know. So we continue to believe very strongly in the company to the extent that we are prepared to continue uh, being shareholders of it. Mr. Yu, who is a fourth-generation member of the company's founding family, says customers may be concerned about losing a homegrown brand that has become synonymous with Singapore for over a century. But he has given the reassurance that traditions will be kept. So in terms of our name and so on, and and our sort of core values, I think these will have to remain. There's a lot of history there. You know, and I think... um, knowing that they're not going to disrupt the, the history to the extent and because they see the value. In a statement, Mitsui says it aims to create a new innovative health business by combining Yu Yansang's strong product portfolio and brand reputation in Asia with Roto's research, development and marketing capabilities. Roto's managing director and chief strategy officer says his company is no stranger to the TCM business. We have distributing the traditional Chinese medicines in the Japanese market, okay, uh, for several years, and uh, but not to uh, uh, distribute them outside Japan. So outside Japan, this is the first opportunity uh, to distribute uh, Chinese medicines. 